Good day everyone, welcome back to Ram's Tutorial. If you are new here in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are updated in my latest videos. Today we are going to discuss on how to find percentage. We have first a word problem about, we are going to read it, there are 45 pupils in our class. Because of the heavy traffic, 20% were late coming to school. Question. How many pupils in our class came late? So now we are going to solve the percentage by how we are going to use the formula. And what is the formula? R times B is equal to P. R stands for rate and B stands for base and P stands for percentage. Okay, that's it. Percentage. Now we are going to distinguish the rate based. Okay, we have first the rate. First class, you are going to find it to find it out, the symbol of percent. So we have first our 20 percent relate coming to school. We are going to put it here under rate. We have 20 percent. Or else we can restate our uh, equations. What is 20 percent of 45? So rate is 20 percent. So our base is 45. Okay, now we are going to solve rate times base because we, because we are going to find out the percentage. Okay, we are going to write here solution. Okay, please follow viewers. So we have, I put an equal sign. So I'm going to convert first 20% to a fractional part. So we're going to write 20 over 100 because this is the fractional part of 20% times 45 the base okay now cancellation of zeros so we're going to write 2 over 10 times 45 then we're going to write the reciprocal of 45 which is 1 then next is we're going to multiply 2 times 45 and 10 times 1 okay 2 times 45, I'm going to solve here, 45 times 2, so we have 2 times 5 is 10, 0, regroup 1, 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9, so we're going to write here 90 over 10 times 1 is 10, actually this is not the final answer, so we're going to divide 90 over 10, because 90 is greater than 10, 90 is R, numerator and 10 is our denominator we divide numerator to denominator so 90 divide 10 so how many 10 in 90 we have 9 times 10 is 90 subtract so we put x because it is 0 our answer or final is 9 okay that's is class so we're going to put here 9 pupils we're going to write here late coming to school okay that is how to solve percentage for the first word problem now class let's have for a practice okay let us find it out if we can still remember the right formula of finding percentage I have first here one two three four five equations or problem number one 80 percent of 60 is equal to n remember class n is the unknown value that means to so say we are going to explore we are going to solve so that we can find the exact answer so now before we solve for number one 
Okay, remember our formula is R times B is equal to P, our percentage. This is our formula. So let's have first 80% of 60 is equal to N. So remember class, you are going to from percentage to decimal form. So 80% in our decimal. So we have 80% of 60, we have 0 convert to decimal point 8. So we're going to multiply class. We have 60 times 0 0.8. A at times 0, 0, 6 times 8 is 48. Cancellation. That's 0, 1. That's our answer is 48. Number 2. 50% of 72. Remember, of means is multiplication. You are going to multiply it. So number two, so same procedure, percent to decimal, so we have 50%, so we have 0 0.5, so we're going to rewrite, okay, times 72, so 72 times 0 0.5, 2 times 5, yours, we have 10, regroup, 1, 7 times 5, 35 plus 1, it's 36 so we have going to cancel first our answer is 36 okay next thing is 25 percent of 140 so same procedure convert percentage to decimal so we have raised here zero because 25 percent 0 0.25 let us multiply one for zero times 0.25 times 0 0 so 4 times 5 20 so we group 2 1 times 5 is 5 plus 2 is 7 next thing is we're going to multiply 0 times 2 is 0 4 times 2 is 8 1 times 2 is 2 plus bring down two zeros here 7 plus 8 class remember that's 15 regroup 1 that's 3 so we have going to count 1 and 2 1 and 2 so our answer 25 percent of 140 we have 35 okay next four three percent of 210 is equal to n we're going to unlock the what we call value of n so we're going to convert number four from percent to decimal so three percent is 0 0.03 so let's multiply first okay uh, 0 0.03 times 210 so three times zero is zero zero times zero one times three is three one times zero is zero two times three is what we call six okay so times zero so we have first here zero three zero what we called here zero next three then six here rather so this is six proper so one two one two so 6.30 or 6.3 our answer for 3% of 210 or 6.3 next is 75% of 120 remember of is multiplication symbol of times so we have raised for number 5 0 0.75 okay it's our first one to zero times zero point seventy five multiply first zero to five still zero two times five is ten zero regroup one times five is five plus one is six next seven times zero zero next seven times two uh fourteen at four regroup one one times seven is seven plus one is eight Okay, let's put here an addition sign. First, bring down zero. Next, another zero. 
plus 6 and 4, we have 10. For group 1, we have 9. Let's count first the decimal point for our number 5, 0 0.75. So first here, 0 0.75, 1, 2, 1, 2. So we have 90. Okay, again, 80% of 60 is 48. 50% of 72, which is 36. 25% of 140 is 35. 3% of 210 is 6.3. 75% of 120 is 90. So we have first our proper solutions from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So remember guys, when you solve the value of the different finding percentage, remember don't forget to use our formula because remember when you use the right formula your answer is correct so hope this video guys uh, encouraging more power to graders especially even though you're not, you are a graders or you are a high school or or whatsoever as well as you have to love your work you have to concentrate your work, focus to your work, and then this video will help you a lot. Remember, listening is a good, what we call, uh, weapons on how to understand every sequence of problem. Remember, equations, different equations, it gives us different problems. And of course, we are going to give different solutions of it. Okay, once again, guys. Good day and thanks for watching and see you for my next videos. Bye!